Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the right way to bring a picture into your text. Now, obviously, to do this tutorial, we're going to need some text on our slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to click on text box. I'm going to draw some text over here. Type in the word smile. That's just going to be our text. It could be whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the font size to around 240. And uh, let's just stretch that out just like this. Um, I'm also going to change the font into something a little bit more bulky into love low black. That's the font that I'm using right now. So I'm just going to center that here. I'm going to align it to the middle just like so. And I'm going to bring one over here and one over here. All right. So we have our text in our slide and now we're ready to bring in a picture into the text. Now, remember, this tutorial is about adding pictures into your text the right way. Right. And in order for you to understand what the right way is, I'm going to show you the wrong way first. And just to make sure you know this is the wrong way, I'm going to put it in big letters in front of your screen. This is not what you're supposed to do when you want to add pictures to your text. So the picture we're going to use, right, is this picture over here. As you can see, you know, it's someone holding a sticky note with a smile on it. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. And I think it would look great in our text. This is what most people do that is incorrect. Okay. They right click on the text box. They go to uh, format shape. They click on text options over here. Then they click on picture or texture fill. And then obviously we have, we showed you our picture before and this is what it looks like. Do you see the problem here? No, not yet. Well, let me show you. This is our picture, right? And that is the text. Do you see how the picture is squashed into that text? That is not the effect we're after guys. That looks unprofessional. That does not look clean. And that looks like a rushed job. We're after quality. We're after awesome design. We're after making your slides look amusing. So therefore, this is incorrect. I'll, I'll agree. It's very easy to edit, right? You can add more words if you'd like. It's very, very easy to edit. But the problem is it just doesn't look that good. So what can we do instead? Well, Let's move on to the second step in the tutorial. And just like before, I'm going to put it in big letters in front of your screen. This is what you're supposed to do when you want to add pictures into your text. So in order to do this right, I'm just going to duplicate the slide and I'm just going to make this black. All right. So now we have a slide just like before. We have a slide with some text in it, nothing special. So again, this is what you're supposed to do every time you want to bring in some picture into your text, right? The first thing you want to do is you want to go to insert and you want to click on shapes, right? And then you just want to click on this rectangle and cover your entire slide, right? From corner to corner, just like this. Remove the outline and send it to back. Now, keep in mind, I want you guys to choose a color for this shape that you just put in here that can easily allow you to identify the text as well as the background. We're going to change that color later, but this is just so you can understand how we're going to do this, right? So for me, I just chose blue for now, but I will change it to white later. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to hold control. We're going to click on the shape that we just brought in first, then the text box second. That's very important for you to understand. Head on over to format, go to merge shapes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on subtract. All right. Assuming you followed those steps, you're going to end up with something like this, right? Now, this is not a text box anymore. What this is, is a shape with the word smile cut out from the middle. Let me say that again. It is a shape, this shape over here with the word smile cut out in the middle. And to prove that to you, if I go to insert, click on shapes, and then, you know, bring this in, right click that center back and change the color and move that left and right, just like this, you can see what I mean. This is now a shape, right? A rectangle with the word smile cut out in the middle. And I keep saying that again and again, because I'm going to show you why that is so powerful. 
I'm gonna delete that. So remember this shape over here that we had with the, with the picture in it? You notice how all that picture's all in the middle and it's all scrumped and, you can, and, and there's no way to move it left or right? Now let's compare that to something like this. Let's say we brought in our picture and click on send to back just like that, all right? Let's just blow it up a bit. Let's move it left here, you know, just to, get, just to give it that little extra bit of flair just like that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I like that a lot, actually. All right, so I'm happy with the image being there. I then go to format with the picture selected, then click on crop. And I'm just gonna crop into the slide just to give it that perfect little look. Clean, cleaning it up the best way I can. All right, and I'm happy with that. Now, all I have to do is just click on the blue part of the square, go to format, and then change it to whatever color I'd like. In my case, it's white, and there you go. That is the beauty of this technique. You can manipulate the image however way that you'd like, and it looks so professional. It looks so clean, it looks awesome. But it doesn't even end there. Let's say I want to make an overlay effect, right, to bring out that extra flare into our slide. So I'm gonna be using these two colors here, the blue and the orange, right? Let's go to insert, click on shapes, and click on this rectangle. And I'm gonna draw the rectangle that covers our entire word smile just like this. I'm gonna remove the outline even though it's not that important. And then I'm just gonna to go to gradient and I'm gonna click on, let's go with this gradient over here, which is the top left to bottom right gradient, right? I'm gonna send this to back just like this and I'm gonna bring it forward just like that, right? Nothing special. All I did was just move, move the images around, nothing special at all. Now, let's see what I do when I right click this and click on format shape. So now I can play with the colors over here. I'm gonna remove this stop in the middle I'm gonna click on the left part, right? Stop one, change the color to this light blue and change the transparency to around 75. I'm then gonna click on the second stop, change the color to orange and I'm gonna change the transparency to around 90. Oh, not 90, sorry. I meant, let's go with 10. And look at how beautiful that looks. And you can play around with it however you'd like. So if I want to put this at 80, sorry, at 20, maybe even at 25, just to give it that little bit. There we go. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Look at how absolutely gorgeous this looks. You won't be able to do the same technique if you use this method. Not at all. But you will if you use this method. The method where everything is cut out and everything's a mask. It's absolutely beautiful, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's all I have this week. I'll see you guys next time. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, and please do subscribe to slidecal.com. Have a great week, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.